Sometimes you get asked questions, what type of ingredients are used in the ProMix products? And represented before me here are the ingredients that we'd normally use in the individual ProMix products. The first one, which is the base of all of our products, is the sphagnum peat moss. Sphagnum peat moss has, by nature, a very spongy structure, which allows it to retain a lot of water, but at the same time still have good aeration. The second component that's used in some of our bark-based mixes, which of course would be our bark, Bark is basically added to the growing media to help with water drainage. It also does retain some water, but it also is good for bulk density, meaning it adds weight to the growing media itself. Another component we use in our ProMix products would be core. And basically I have represented two different types of core. We have our core fiber product and our core chunk product. Now the difference between the two is the core fiber is, has properties very similar to peat moss. So it retains a lot of water, has pretty good aeration, and uh, works well with, as kind of a base to a growing media. But the chunk core is a little bit different. Chunk core packs in the growing media a little bit more loosely, as you can see here. And because of that, it adds to the air porosity of the growing mix. So not only does it introduce aeration, but also within the chunks of the core itself, within these chunks, you'll actually have more water retention. So not only does it retain more air, but it also provides a lot of water retention. So the next component used in our ProMix products would be perlite. And perlite's a great product, as you can see, it's kind of light and airy, but it's designed to add drainage to the growing media, so you get less water retention, and also helps with uh, improving air processes so your root system can get the oxygen it needs to grow normally. And the last ingredient that we use in a lot of our mixes would be the vermiculite. Vermiculite is basically an expanded rock similar to perlite, but vermiculite helps with water retention similar to peat moss, but not quite as much. It does introduce some aeration, and in, if it's used in high enough quantity, it does retain nutrients. However, we don't recommend, depending on this, to hold on to the fertilizer. We recommend applying fertilizer to your ProMix products. So these are basically the components that are used in the ProMix products. For more information about the individual components, you can check out our other videos on our YouTube channel.